definitely see that the heads are pretty close together and this one on the left seems to be a little bit tilted down into the side. I love it. I I'm gonna do it. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. That's right, I'm in Tennessee. I've got a quick two hour drive and that's right. I'm going to see that two-headed snake. Before I get going this morning, I realize that some videos that I talk a lot, especially at the beginning of the vlog, people click off. I encourage you to stick around because I'm gonna take you on the entire journey, but I really want you guys to understand what I'm trying to accomplish with this trip. Not like I'm just coming here like I did last time and buying this snake no matter what. Basically what I mean is that last time, I just had it so set in my head that I was gonna buy this two-headed snake that I kinda went there with blinders on. And basically what had happened was even though I looked at the snake and I thought, man, this just doesn't look as healthy as I wanted it to, I still just couldn't bring myself to not buy it. You know, I just basically just bought it. I didn't even know. I mean, I saw the animal. It didn't look super, super healthy because it was like seven or eight months old and it still was the size of a baby, but I couldn't bring myself to say, Brian, don't buy this snake. This time I'm not doing that. Number one, you guys dropped over 3,000 comments on me giving me a lot of great advice. If you remember the last time I said if I ever get offered a two-headed snake again, you guys need to talk me out of it. And a lot of you guys did have some really great advice for me, you know, saying, hey, you should go ahead and wait till it eats several times. The thing is with this particular deal is, is that it's an as-is situation. Basically, in all honesty, the price on this animal is a lot more affordable. Don't get me wrong, it's not just about the money because I've always been unbelievably passionate and always wanted a two-headed snake. So the money is just a side effect. But at the same time, I don't want to just throw money away. I lost a lot of money on Laverne and Shirley, and it was an emotionally very difficult thing to go through to get attached. So the point is, is this time there's a little bit less risk, but at the same time, this is an as-is situation. And basically the guy said, if you give me this for it, you can take it, but you assume all of the risk. Now again, I read all of your comments, and I understand in a perfect world, I wouldn't assume the risk. The seller would assume the risk. At that point, the price would probably be $15,000 or something like that, and I really couldn't take the chance again because it just was too bad to lose Laverne and Shirley emotionally, financially, everything else that goes along with it. With that said, I truly believe that things happen for a reason. And I believe that this snake was offered to me maybe because this is the one. Maybe this is the one that's going to live. Now what's really interesting is remember I told you about the Mexican black king snake that I bought a few years ago that ended up living for three or four months. Well it happens that the guy's name is Chris that sold me that animal and Chris's good friend is the one that produced this two-headed black and white cow king. So Chris actually called me up. He knew the situation. He felt really bad that the animal he sold me didn't make it. So that's the other reason why this one is much more affordable because it's almost like Chris wanted to make it good in a sense, which I really do appreciate. So with all of that said, I have about a two hour drive, but I'm not going there just to buy the snakes. What I'm doing is I'm going there to look at them, to make sure that they look really healthy. If I think, all right, this is a good shot, then I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Now, I will say another thing. Corn snakes are typically more delicate than king snakes, so that's one thing that we have going for us. Corn snakes are already a little bit delicate, so when you add a two-header to it, it becomes a more issue. There have been a couple two-headed corn snakes that have lived to adulthood, but the vast majority of them don't live, so that's a good thing when it comes to this king snake, and it's absolutely a gorgeous snake, too. So I can't wait to actually see the animal, make a decision, and hopefully I'll either be coming home with a two-header snake, or just just like your guys' advice, I'll leave it behind and say, nope, this one isn't gonna look that good. I don't wanna get emotionally attached to this thing, which I absolutely will, and have another loss. With that said, I am absolutely going into this. Even if I do purchase it, I realize that there is a high probability that this won't live more than a month, two months, three months, six months, or whatever it is. But think about it this way. I didn't get where I am today without taking risks. And I truly, in my mind, think, what if maybe two years from now, I'm holding this two-headed snake, and I think, if I didn't take that risk, I wouldn't be holding this two-headed snake right now. That's the way my mind thinks. But I'm going to do it with my eyes wide open, guys. So, all right, we've got a couple hours to go. I hope now I've explained my whole thought process behind this. Once I get there, we'll take a look together. We will see how it is, and we may be going home with the two-headed snake. Well, I know you guys know that Brian's out, and he's picking up the new two-headed snake, and I just thought I'd give you my two cents on it. Obviously, we talked about it and discussed it before he made that decision, and we are on the same page. I'm 
not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous uh, after getting that last one and, and just knowing how, you know, the chances are with any two-headed snake. They don't have, you know, a very good chance of doing well. Very few make it very long in life, but I was, you know, siding with him to where I thought it was worth another chance to see if we could get one and see if, you know, if it can make it. I think it's a very cool animal to have. I think it'll be a great display thing for the zoo. So yeah, I'm actually kind of excited for him to get home tonight and uh, so I can see this thing in person. And it wouldn't be a snake deal if you weren't parking in some weird parking lot. We're at the Cracker Barrel. Uh, we're just kind of meeting in the parking lot. <laughs> so that's how these deals go down. Uh, they said they should be here any minute. Brian. Brian. Chris. Chris, we finally phone. meet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, how are you? Keith. Keith, what's going on? How are you guys doing? Okay, so we met up with these guys. Uh, now, Ryan, you actually said you're the one that produced it, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, so this is the first two-headed snake you've ever produced? No, so the third one, actually. Third? Uh, what the heck? How is this? Who, this is okay, so me and Chris co-produced the two-headed Mexican Black King. It was okay, my yeah. male and his female. Gotcha. I produced a two-headed hybrid last year that died in the egg. This makes number three. Oh my gosh. And Chris, of course, is the one that produced my Mexican black king snake uh, that unfortunately lived a few months or whatever and then passed away. It's definitely a risk to take. I'm very nervous to look at this snake, but uh, we, everything looks good so far? It's fine. Oh my gosh. So good, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, it sure is a beauty, huh? Look at that little guy. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, they look absolutely amazing. I mean, it's a beautiful snake with just one head. It would be a beautiful <laughs> snake with two heads that makes it really wild. But you could definitely see that the heads are pretty close together. And this one on the left seems to be a little bit tilted down into the side. You know, I think my only concern is, is that, you know, their heads are so close together. Will they be able to eat? You know, is it going to be something that's going to eat or not? But you can see, look at the tongues are flicking really perfectly. They seem to have really good motor skills. There's no other kinking in the entire body. I mean, it looks good. Let me think about this for a second. All right, guys, so, uh, took an initial look at the animal. I mean, it, it, number one, it looks extremely, extremely healthy. I mean, really good tongue flicks. Um, the heads are a little bit closer together than what I would like, to be totally honest with you. Uh, they have a slight tilt down, but there doesn't seem to be any really major deformities. Um, again, has not fed. Do you take the risk? Um, this is a tough one, guys. I really don't know what to do. Uh, Gosh, it's a struggle, you know, once I pull the trigger, there's no going back. I tell you what, uh, let's take one more closer look. All right, guys, so uh, here's the deal. I mean, I've really taken a close look at this animal. Um, I love the way it's moving, you know, Laverne and Shirley always had a little bit of motor skills where it just didn't seem quite right. Now, don't get me wrong, when you look at this animal, certainly the heads are so close together that they seem to tilt down when they move. But other than that, it seems to be extremely normal. I mean, the rest of its body looks completely perfect. I don't see any weird, like, coloring. And that was another thing I saw with Laverne and Shirley, is it had some weird coloring in it. So I think it had some other congenital issues. This animal seems really good. I don't like the way that it moves its head though but again I think that that just might be kind of a way of of figuring things out the thing that's interesting about two-headed snakes is that sometimes when they're young they're actually trying to work together and as they get older they start to figure it out so you know what guys I think I'm gonna go for it what do you say we just get this deal done I mean I didn't live my life up until this point without taking risks so I love it I, I'm gonna do it. All right, guys, thank you so much, Chris. It's great. It's nice to meet man, you. Ryan, that's awesome, nice man. Thank you. you so much. And by the way, where can people find you? I know it's Reptiles and Rodents on Facebook. Ryan knows Reptiles and Rodents on Facebook. And uh, I have an exotic pet store in Starville, Mississippi called Blackfish Exotics. And what about you? The Beard Aquarium Keeper on Instagram. Awesome, that is cool. I'm gonna put all these guys' links in the description. Go show them some love. Uh, and hopefully we'll be talking about these guys for years to come as these girls grow up.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, I pulled the trigger. We got a two-headed snake. I mean, she looks really good, or I should say they look very good. And by the way, they are girls like Laverne and Shirley. But I have a really good feeling about this one. It hasn't eaten yet. That's going to be the big, big challenge. It may take me a month or six weeks. And again, I know I'm going into this with the potential of it not turning out well. Yes, I'm going to get emotional. Yes, I'm going to get attached. But I had to do it, guys. I had to do it. I have this obsession with two-headed snakes. I've always wanted to keep one since I sold that albino black rat all those years ago. So I had to take the chance. And I think this one's going to work out. Send positive vibes. For now, let's go ahead and get on the road. We have a 10-hour drive ahead of us. Well, it's definitely going to be a long ride home. But I tell you what, I am just so excited. I don't know why. I know that it's an uphill battle. I know it's a big risk. But I feel really good about this. I don't know. I mean, all I can think about is, oh my gosh, we got a two-headed snake. Drive is probably going to go by pretty quick just because I'm kind of on cloud nine right now. Ever since Laverne and Shirley passed, I was just kind of bummed about that whole thing. And I thought that maybe that whole chapter in my life had kind of passed. Like maybe I would never have a two-headed snake. And I really had talked myself into the fact that, you know what, I'm not gonna do it ever again. And then when Chris ended up contacting me, we already had a relationship. The fact that I'd already bought one from him, he knew what was going on. The price was right, situation was right. I really think that they look amazing. I do need some help though. Can you guys kind of give me some name suggestions? I got an idea of what I'm thinking in my head, but go down in the comments, let me know. Again, these are two girls, so I need some girl names. Names, go down in the comments let me know what you guys think and then I'll probably choose one of your ideas or I'll tell you what I think but in the meantime my girls and me we still have a long drive to go I think there's about eight and a half hours left but I am definitely happy right now one eternity later all right just home and I've got to show Lori and Noah the snake open it up what's in it what's in the box oh man that is interesting I can see the last one in person. I like the pattern of it. It's a cool looking snake. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying about the head, just the way it's connected. Wrong Both very active and trying to go in different directions. <laughs> it's like a cobra. <laughs> what kind of snake is this? It's a high white, black and white California king snake. It's a cool looking snake. I know, isn't it neat? Yeah. I mean, it looks good, so. Yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, they're both trying to go different <laughs> ways. I know what a trip, huh? So does so it it splits off and has two different spines right here, yep. huh? Yeah, you can see like the skin yeah. is kind of attached in yeah, the middle. Yeah, in the pattern, see? You yeah. can see where it connects. Interesting. Yeah. Kind of looks like a cobra right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I am literally sitting in the spot that I started this journey yesterday on, and let me just tell you guys a couple things. First off, I know I read a ton of your comments, and although a bunch of people were super supportive and said, "Brian, go for it. You've got to take a chance." There were a lot of of you guys that were concerned about me and didn't want me to go ahead and do this and I wanted to first say thank you thank you for thinking of me and being concerned about how emotionally it will affect me if something bad happens to these girls and it certainly will but the fact is is I tried to steal myself on this one and what I mean by that is that I just understand that there's a very good chance that this may not end the way I want it to but with that said you know to be honest with you guys I have failed in a lot of things in life and whenever I fail and things go bad it doesn't ever stop me from trying again so I kind of felt this way about these girls you know they're here they're gonna be with somebody someone is either gonna buy these animals or they're gonna keep them or they're gonna try to keep them alive or whatever the case may be and I thought why not let that person be me and again because I can go into this realizing that there's a chance it may not work out, and I realize that if it doesn't work out, I'm still gonna be pretty bummed, guys. Of course I'm gonna be emotional, because that's just who I am. I get attached to things. But think about it this way. I'm thinking in my head, what if this is the one? What if these girls here live 10, 12, 15 years, and I didn't do it? What would that feel like if a year or two from now, I saw pictures of these two girls, and they were three foot long, and just doing well, and someone else had it, it would destroy me. My point is that sometimes you gotta take the risk even if the outcome may not be what you want it to be. So thank you again for the people that were concerned. And I hope that this really explains where my head was when I decided to go ahead and do this. So again, go in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Let me know some name ideas. I'll tell you probably tomorrow what I'm thinking about naming these two girls. And that basically ends the adventure. We've got two-headed snakes again, people. How awesome is that? Thank you for joining me on this venture. Your support means the world to me. 
and I really, truly do love you guys, especially everyone that cared about me so much. You mean the world to me. Have an absolutely amazing day. Before we get out of here, for my new girls here, smash that like button, turn those post notifications on. Remember to be kind to someone, and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,